Halo Infinite is setting itself up to be the most customizable Halo game we've ever had with additional armor sets that we've never been able to customize before as well as, you know, we're going to have to talk about armor coatings. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure to tap subscribe so you know when next video goes live. So let's get right into the content here. As I'm sure you're all familiar with, the recent development update that happened for Halo Infinite gave us a lot of great information. I did say I had to break it down in multiple videos because it was so much information and that is very true. Now in this video, I wanted to focus on the customization we're going to have in Halo Infinite as a recent development update really actually showcase what we're going to be able to do with our Spartans. And the phrase reach level customization I feel doesn't exactly capture everything that we can do. We will actually be able to do more than reach. So in this video I wanted to compare what we were previously know and what we now know so we can come up with different ideas of how this customization is going to play out in Halo Infinite. Because 343 did state the kind of customization that they did say here saying helmet, helmet attachment, chest gear, shoulder pads left and right, knee guards, wrist gear and utility as well as visor color it's all gonna be available for customization but they said these will all be back and we will go further and in this video we're going to show you what that further part is and how yes armor coatings are going to be a very important factor when it comes to the t customization within the game and we're going to, have to talk about it but we'll save it to the end of the video to kind of discuss how they will probably play out in the game so here's one of the newer images of a spartan within halo infinite and this does look pretty awesome very reminiscent of halo reach and the kind of wear and tear that we see on the spartan here and just the armor style as a whole i mean like this is right here this is george's helmet guys like that's that's george when i see this helmet to me and also these beefy you know shoulder pads and stuff like that the proper wear and tear you would kind of expect to kind of be in a reach style but those a couple things i also wanted to point out with this spartan that you, we haven't really noticed previously and it was actually kind of brought up and throughout the halo community and it was one thing is about the uh, i guess you call it the cod piece down here yes we have to look at this section but this looks like it's going to be some brand new customization we've never had before. And if we kind of scroll over to the next image, I'll kind of showcase what I'm talking about here. So keep an eye on this. I know you have to look at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but be, let's, be, let's be adults here, okay? And we'll switch over to the next image. And you can see how this looks completely different. This is not the same kind of image that we had previously. Let's take a closer look at it. I know, yes, we're focusing on it. But it looks like we're going to be able to kind of customize this section, which is going to be... Very interesting to know that we're going to have this additional level of customization of the armor sets right here. Uh, you can also see with the uh, next uh, Watchdog armor coating for the 152, kind of gives you a better visual representation of what we're talking about here, about the uh, the COD piece. Looks like you will be able to customize that armor set a little bit different, which we've never had before in a Halo game, which is pretty freaking awesome. Another thing coming back to the Spartan was check out the lower half of the legs as well. And, you know, we've been able to previously customize the knee pads, but we've never really been able to customize the legs section of the Spartan or even the feet. And also this is something I wanted to point out as well. This is some extra customization where we will be able to have in Halo Infinite for the armor set. So let's kind of keep a visual memory of that. Go into the next armor set here. You can see that the knee pads are obviously different, that they're more angular on this one. But also, you can see how the legs are very different and the feet are very different as well. Now, I don't know if the legs and feet are kind of tied together in some kind of way, because it does seem like they might be. If you kind of keep a close look at this right here, and then we'll move over to the watchdog armor coating example. You see how the feet and legs also are very similar kind of armor styling to them as well so maybe from just like the lower legs down you will be able to customize as well when it comes to your different armor sets again we're just kind of basing this off of our general knowledge what we're what we've seen and what we know so far now another thing you also want to see is the undercoating that we had for the spartan as well uh we actually have seen that the, the you can actually colorize your undercoating as well because with the previously revealed granular armor coating that you get with the Chips Ahoy promotion, if I remember correctly, this is a recreation of what we saw, but basically you can see the different kind of colorizations you can have of your Spartan's undercoat as well, given the additional customization of the armor coating system. You see the Spartan Raider has kind of like a three-tone kind of coloring, unless this is kind of armor. So you can see you have like a, like a brownish kind of color, a reddish kind of color as well for the undersuit as well just kind of just give you that extra level of customization because you know there's gonna be people out there that like having colored undersuits but you know there's gonna be people out there that like you know black undersuits i'm more of a black undersuit person because i feel like it makes the armor 
pop out a little bit better, but you know, everyone has their preferences. And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to customization within Halo. The Halo Infinite setting itself up to be the most customizable Halo we've ever had in the franchise. Another thing to point out with this Spartan in particular is that there is a different undercoating texture with it as well. If you kind of zoom in real close, you can see there's a much more fabric-y kind of effect to the undercoat of this Spartan here, where previously it's much more like rubbery kind of valuable kind of I don't know what kind of texture you call it, you know, but you can see right here that there's a much more of a fabric lined kind of undercoating to this as well. Will this be tied in with the armor coatings? Will this be tied to just a specific type of armor customization completely all together? Like you would select your helmet, you get to select your undercoat kind of texture. That would be pretty interesting as well. I mean, we've only seen this type of under armor for the Scorpion Punch armor coating. So this could be tied with that as we do know that texturing is gonna be tied in along with the armor coating system as well. Because you can see the Noble Defender armor coating. If you zoom in on the undercoat, you can, again, you just see it. it's much more of a, a hardened rubbery kind of plasticky kind of uh, texture that we've traditionally known for the undercoat for Spartans. Another thing to point out as well again like this Spartan is very unique it looks like a regular Spartan but when you actually look into the details you actually really see some really intricate de details of the customization like let's keep an eye on the gauntlets right here like the hands right here you can kind of see what we're talking about here keep that image of that in your mind right now we'll switch over to the new style you can see completely different. This is a different type of you know, hands armor set right here. You can even see within the watchdog coating example right here. So let's zoom in on the Spartan here. Keep an eye on the wrists right here and the armor. So I was thinking that maybe it looks like the lower half of the arms would be tied in the customization, but that doesn't look to be so. Keep an eye on this armor, the arm set right here and on the gauntlet right here. If we zoom out to the next example of the same armor set, I see right here, same kind of, you know, forearm armor set, completely different kind of gauntlet on the Spartan as well. Last thing I want to bring up is the visor customization. Now we've traditionally had just choosing visor colors and it seems like you will still be able to do that within Halo Infinite. Remember, you can look at this watchdog armor coating. You see that gold kind of visor does look pretty awesome. Not going to lie, but we switch over to the other version. You can see a different kind of headset and also a different kind of visor color being red. But an interesting thing as well with a different Spartan that's also involved with this. And so if we switch over to this Spartan, you can actually see that it seems like there might be some option to do some kind of texturing with the visor color as well. As you can visually see some kind of grid pattern added to it. Now this could just be just like the type of visor color has this effect to it. We've seen that previously, but I have a strong suspicion that maybe you might be able to choose the type of texturing you would like for your visor color. Then there's a lot of people like the kind of hexagonal kind of style. Some people don't, you know, again, like this is supposed to be the most customizable Halo we've ever had. And I think 343 is trying to live up to that example. But ultimately, I think this has to kind of round off back to armor coding. It's been a very you know controversial topic within the Halo community. And from the colors that we've seen, they look really nice, but they would have been something that we probably would have been able to accomplish with enough customization on our own. Though with the multiplayer being free to play, there has to be some way to monetize the customization, and I think this might be one of the ways to do it. They did state within the development update that there will be a better selection of armor coatings at launch due to the feedback and criticisms that the community has given due to that limitation on customization. Personally, I'm on the side of giving players at least the opportunity to choose primary secondary colors and then allow these armor coatings to give additional customization that you can't have with primary secondary, which would give, I feel like, incentive for people to buy into some sweet armor coatings because you'd be able to get some new unique armor customizations and combinations that you would never be able to do with a user interface style customization. Plus, I feel like it would be so much more visually distinctive if you bought an armor coating, you'd be able to show up like, oh, that guy paid into the game, which I think would give more incentive for people to buy into things because I would feel that you would probably just have a standard just two-tone coloring when it comes to primary secondary colors on the same kind of pieces of the armor and stuff like that, which would allow players who want to play for free, which you should give people the opportunity to do that, you know, their ability to customize how they would like. But, you know, if they want to jump in and pay for that monetization, they can. Again, like I've said previously, I feel like we need to wait until we see how it plays out in the game before we actually start flipping tables. We're at the moment right now, as well we know, 
Still don't know exactly how these system is going to play out. How is the UI going to handle all these individual types of armor coatings? Because we know previously 343 hasn't done the best job with UI integration for their games. So I just don't think it's time to flip tables yet, but my hands are underneath it, ready to flip. I just haven't received the full information on whether or not I should flip this table or not. And as 343 stated in the last blog post, we'll be getting more updates about Halo Infinite's development throughout 2021. So if you guys want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel or miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I've got a link to all my news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.